If bushfires are Australia's natural enemy, the commandos of firefighting are the elite group dropped in by helicopter to combat the most remote and dangerous blazes. Nine News has been given a rare chance to see them in action. An RFS helicopter soars above dense bushland. Putting the first man on the hop. As it nears the clearing, a firefighter steps out onto the skids. Grabbing his equipment, he's carefully winched to the ground below. Then, one after another, more firefighters seemingly drop out of the sky. But this is just an exercise. The state's rapid aerial response teams are taking part in their final training session ahead of bushfire season. These elite firefighters are winched into the most remote locations across the state, battling fires which can't be accessed by road. If we can, we'll go with a hover exit, um, and if that's not viable, we'll try to find a place where we can winch in and out. Once on the ground, they go about their work. With little access to water, they rely on tools like chainsaws to control the inferno. As you can see, it's dangerous work. That's why these guys spend all year practicing maneuvers like this. Because when a fire is raging below, they only have one chance to get it right. And the guys, it's just become second nature. You've got to have a bit of fear because fear makes you safe. The Bureau of Meteorology is predicting this summer will bring the worst fire conditions in almost a decade. The aerial teams will be on standby, ready to be deployed at the first sign of danger. Being able to get early detection and then of course early response into the remote country stops a lot of those smaller fires becoming large fires. Kate Creedon, Nine News.